Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I would like to welcome you back to more of our IGF On Live Indie Showcase 2012. This time around, we are taking a look at the acid-laced fever dream, which is Rob Latch's Pop. Pop was a runner-up, or let's say an honorable mention, in the Nouveau category at the IGF 2012. This game is Nouveau as hell. It is an acid trip incarnate. It is amazing. It must be experienced. This game does things to me which are probably not necessarily healthy for my brain, my body, my soul, my spirit, but... I had a hell of a fun time playing this game. The game is a mind fuck for the eyes. It is an interesting journey into the psyche of an insane programmer, and it really, really gave me an erection, truly. If you break it down to its simplest parts, Pop is a series of very basic mini games that are stitched together by heavily pixelated video footage and a very quirky and interesting soundtrack. This game is not really describable. I mean, I can tell you about the mini games. I can tell you that the first mini game has you piloting a shuttle as it blasts off. I could never figure out what the hell to do with this. I could never really get it to work, so uh, you won't see any footage of the shuttle in flight. I essentially crashed right off the launch pad. Uh, that's the first game you encounter. Then you are treated to a night scene where there are planes flying overhead and searchlights looking to find them. You're then given control of a gun where you attempt to shoot the planes down. After that, you find yourself in an odd sort of desert. You appear to be an astronaut man with a walking stick, and you walk around to these various static spheres, these circles of static, and each time you hit one, you're treated to a cryptic message. Until finally, after revealing several messages, a technicolor sun rises from the distance. It looks kind of like the thing at the end of Tron with the face on it. And then there's something which could be Sanskrit or Arabic that appears on the screen. And that's it. Then you move on to the next minigame, which has you in a sort of Vietnam-era chopper manning a gun and, quote, saving souls by mowing down Vietnamese out in the rice paddies as you fly by. It is just amazingly bizarre and I love it I just absolutely love it this is somebody who wanted to do something different something experimental and he did it in a way that was so batshit crazy that it was actually fun it was actually enjoyable and it put a smile on my face I mean listen to my voice you guys who watch my videos know that I don't talk like this in every video. I only talk like this when I am excited. So you're probably seeing all this footage on the screen right now, and you're slowly raising a gun to your head because your your mind is just being raped over and over again. Your, your, your eyes are bleeding. You just want to end it all, but don't because it's just doing what it's supposed to do. This is what this game does, and I love it for it. I can't tell you any more about it. You have to experience it for yourself. I couldn't actually find a way to download it uh, from Rob's site. It's roblatchlach.com, uh, but you can still play it on OnLive for a few more days. So you must go. You must experience this game, this thing that is hideously beautiful and wonderfully grotesque. It's an orgasm for the eyes and ears. It is pop and it has done things to me i am changed and you will be too all right guys i have been big dave and until next time take it easy